Hopefully he didn't fake an injury this time. How freaking cool is that? Let's get to a wedding. I like it. Small intimate wedding feels. Doing it at a house. We don't know if it's the bride's house or family house, but this is awesome. We love backyard weddings. This is beautiful back here. We just took off from the wedding about 10 minutes ago and we're right down the road picking up some Little Caesars to bring back to the hotel. We were this close to getting Long John Silvers. Yeah, it's literally, not my, not my it's, it's, I'm looking at it. I never get Long John Silvers because we don't have one around us anymore. <sighs> Which is I'm, a good thing because I would eat there way too much. It's also a good thing because I don't want it, but she would probably make me eat it. I, maybe. I kind of want to swim again tonight. I definitely don't want to get my hair wet, but I want to, I don't know, that water was so warm and felt amazing. So yeah. maybe after we eat, we'll go sink in the pool. It was a great day. We had a really nice time visiting with all of our friends. It was really just like a, a small social gathering. And I got to see a guy that I went to high school with and his dad who used to come into um, auto parts store and buy parts from me and talk all the time. So it was cool to see him. And we're so happy for Erica and Beth. Oh my gosh, it was at their house and their backyard is, is amazing. So they live in a, a really cool area. It's a beautiful drive back to the hotel room. All right, we just ate pizza and wings in bed while watching Good Mythical Morning. And it's nighttime. It's about 10 o'clock at night. And the pool here is open um, until midnight. It's adults only the last two hours. I just thought that was super freaking cool and I want to swim again because we're paying for it and I love floating around in the water. I'm going to try to not get my hair wet though. Also, um, I think it's cute that the hotel has a Christmas tree up in their lobby. I, I hope that they just keep it up all year and just decorate it for different holidays. So it's red, white, and blue right now for Memorial Day. Um, that is super, super cute. There's nobody else in here. This should be very peaceful. Good morning. It is Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, which means there's an extra day of the weekend tomorrow. <laughs> Mike has tomorrow off of work. Today we are driving from Bay City down to Mason, Michigan, south of Lansing, where his sister lives, to pick up Jora or BB, who we've missed all weekend. Hopefully he didn't fake an injury this time while he was with them. Last time they watched him, they had him walking all over the place and he kept picking up one of his front paws like there was something wrong with it. They couldn't find anything wrong with it. Even after we got there, he was doing it and we couldn't find anything wrong with it. And we think that he totally just faked it so that they would stop walking so much. <laughs> we inspected all over and we just did not see anything. And then yeah, about, you know, an hour or two after we got home miraculously, his foot was fine. <laughs> So we'll see how him and Danny the cat got along. I brought the Hot Ones Pringle Challenge over to do with Lindsay. I'm very excited about that. I was a winner of the Pringles Apollo Triple X, or it might not be Triple X chip, but the Hot Ones Hottest Sauce Pringle Chips. I got one of those kits from Pringles on Twitter, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna die. <laughs> so freaking hot like i've tasted the apollo triple x sauce before with her and oh that's insane we'll see how that goes <laughs> mike and i just had breakfast downstairs we had a bunch of waffles and syrup and you know we grabbed some hostess stuff for the road i forgot to bring an outfit for sunday so i guess i'm just wearing the dress again duh <laughs> Bye, room. You were good to us. We are back at Josh and Lindsay's house in this 
gorgeous log cabin of theirs. They are still out with some friends. They're helping some of their friends pick up lawn furniture from Lowe's and I think chopping down a tree or something like that. So on our way here, we stopped at a local meat market where they have a beef jerky vending machine outside. Um, I love that they have that because if they're closed, you can just walk up and still get some of their jerky, which is so good. So speaking of jerky, while we were there, along with all the other things I bought, I apparently just walked in and said, give me one of everything. I got Jora some chicken jerky strips. So these are specifically for dogs. And then I got me some maple turkey jerky. I got some venison jerky, some elk and pork um, Hunter's Sausage Links. Mike loves strawberry rhubarb jam, and they had one um, made by the Kimona Kitchens. They have all different kinds of like weird flavors of things that you just wouldn't expect. They get like the odd, the oddities of different brands. And I had never seen the Ultimate Cheddar Doritos anywhere else, so I grabbed these. Some Original A's, because I love them. Wiley Wallaby Licorice. I love this stuff, but I've never seen the Huckleberry flavor. So I'm super excited to try this. I love this flavoring stuff. I always use the white cheddar, but they had kettle corn flavoring, and I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> so every time we go to the movie theater, I'm gonna have to remember this so that I can uh, try it. Can't wait to taste that. So we're just gonna hang out um, until they get back. It should just be like just over an hour. They do have Jora because they went on a walk with friends this morning. I'm about to chill on this recliner behind me and take a nap. <laughs> It does look like magical out here. Oh, it's so pretty. And they're already starting to die. Like, I mean, this is, it's, it's past its peak. No. Unscented. Unscented uh, flowers. Okay, go this way, bud. We gotta check Jora for ticks before we go yeah. Yeah. back in. Wait, what? Is a jack in the pulpit right here? That, oh, that plant? Mm hmm. These look so good. I can't wait to taste. Yeah, tree pollen right now is ridiculous. Andrea's best friend is the tree pollen. God. How's your shoulder feel? Hurts. Where my bone is supposed to be connected, that's where it hurts. I won on Twitter a thing from Pringles, their Hot Ones version. Um, you could only get this by winning it. I mean, it's definitely hot. Build up. I am not a hot, hot <laughs> sauce fan. Ah! <laughs> I'm such a wuss. I love I'm it. Not a wuss that's hot. Okay, I bet I'm like, yeah, I did. Oh, oh my god. Okay, what is this thing called? A gull wasp. A gull? G -A -L -L. Gull wasp. Okay, so this thing that's blown up like a that's balloon. A leaf. Yeah, this was a flat leaf. And then this thing gets in there, and that thing in the middle, connected by all these like white fibers, is actually a larva of a gall wasp. They blow up a leaf and go inside of it. Lindsay found this outside, and they're going to keep it inside until it hopefully hatches and watch the process. How freaking cool is that? 
We are taking off from Lindsay and Josh's. Jora is very happy to be going home because we did not have a dinner over here for him tonight. So he got a lot of treats <laughs> and he'll have his regular dinner when we get home. Tomorrow they are gonna drive over and have breakfast with us and Mike's parents. So I'm looking forward to that. We are home. It is Sunday night, Memorial Day weekend. We had such a great weekend so far. We played a game called golf with Lindsay and Josh while we were over there. It's a card game where you play 18 rounds, just like golf, and you try to get the lowest score by matching up cards. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of luck, some skill, and I was in the lead until the 14th round. I never win that game, but I'm usually third or fourth place, so... I'm very excited to say that I almost won <laughs> and I got second by like 19 points, I think. We're going to run to Meyer tonight to grab some food to, um, for tomorrow. We're at least going to have one friend over. This weekend was absolutely wonderful. We were busy the whole time. We had Mike's sister and her new fiance over today after we went out to breakfast with them and their parents. <laughs> and we had our friend Matt over to play games this afternoon. That was a lot of fun. I did not record anything. I just, you know, wanted to take a break from recording stuff. And today we are ending it all at the dog park, our favorite place. We haven't been here all weekend. Jora, of course, was completely worn out by Lindsay and Josh. He just wanted to go to bed yesterday when we got home. It was pretty funny. He he wanted dinner and bed <laughs> only. That was, that was all he wanted. Now we're finishing Memorial Day weekend at the dog park, and then we're gonna go home, and I'm probably gonna crash. I already took an hour-long nap this afternoon. Um, and then we watched Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy, and man, I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm feeling it just like he was. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I really hope that you enjoyed them. Please hit that like button, hit subscribe, and have a great day. Have fun. I hope that you had a great weekend as well.